Hello guys, this is Ali and welcome to new tutorial series. In this series, we will learn how to use jQuery data table in ASP.NET MEC. I'm gonna show you how can we add new record, update record and delete record. I will introduce some of the advanced features of jQuery data table through which you can refresh the data table without reloading the whole page. These features will increase the performance and efficiency of your application. So let's start. Open up Visual Studio and create a new project. Give it a meaningful name. Select MVC and click OK. Now we'll add entity data model. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click on Models folder. Click Add. Click New Item. Select data, ADO.NET entity model, click OK. I already created the database, I will select this option. My database name is data table, click OK. Connection string will be employee db context select tables i have only one table tbl employees the namespace will be models click finish Rename the rename the class name. So I will give it a name employees. Save. Close this window and build the project. Now we will create a controller to get data from database. Employee controller, click it. We will modify the index action method to get all employees from database. Right. Now we'll create a view to display employees list. Select the list option because we are going to create a list of employees and the class will be employees and the data context class will be employee db context. Press add. Now save the changes and run the project. We have successfully created the list of employees. Now we will convert this HTML table to jQuery data table. To do this, change index to employee list. Remove this. Remove this.
we need to add the head move this cord inside the T head create T body and move this piece of cord within the T body right paste it here now we need to include J query Now we will add CD and for toaster. It's basically a JavaScript library to display notifications. And you can copy the CDN from this website. Okay. We need to add one more CDN for font awesome. You can download the CDN from this website. Right. Now we will add CDN for jQuery data tables. You can copy the CDN from data tables website. Okay, you can see the complete configuration and complete details about jQuery data tables here. Right. Create a script section here. We will create a JavaScript section and we will write all the JavaScript code within this section. Right? Now we will convert this HTML table to jQuery data table. We will specify the ID of table. Employee table. Copy this ID and initialize the data table. The data table. Save the changes and refresh the page. So we have successfully converted HTML table to jQuery data table. Now we will add some bootstrap classes on jQuery data table. Save the changes and refresh the page. right now we'll customize the data table we don't need these two options so we will remove this click to visual studio and within the data table we will disable these two options right Save the changes and refresh the page. Okay. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and watch the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.